Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Rajati from We All Learn Today. Today's video, I am going to show you how to use timeline effect in Dash. So for that, I just take text to so write any text here. Just want to change the color. So this timeline effect, we don't want to go this uh, here. Just right click on object and here. This is the timeline effect. So this too will be disabled because here we did not uh, use any effect. If we use any effect means this too will be enabled. For example, I just show you. For example, I just take a oval shape here and right click it timeline effects so here the expand option is disabled this option is only available in text so i just view explode here the layer name i'm going i not change the layer name so when it go for the timeline effect, it automatically change. Okay. So this is the this is the properties we can change here and give the update review means the changes will be this changes will be applied here. It will take some time. Yeah, it's loading. Yeah, the directions will be change so if when i give the ok means the effects will be applied to this object and automatically it create another layer with its own name here i am not change any name the uh, layer name is automatically okay so next we will see one by one so right click and so here the timeline effect see this both will be enabled because we can edit the effect or we can remove the effect because i applied the uh, any one of these timeline effect to this object that's why these two options will be enabled okay and uh, one more thing is we can't uh, apply two or more timeline effects to the single object so we can uh, first, well, let's see copy to grid. So this is the it take multiple copies. We can uh, change the rows and columns count here and give the update to you. Okay, so I just cancelled it. I, I just show you how to use. That's it. So next timeline effect assistant copy to grid. We will see. We already see so next distribute to duplicate so here just see every timeline effect it take its own layer with its name okay so here we can change the color too so we can decrease the opacity also just give update to view what changes you given here this will be apply, applied here okay just I cancelled it. So we will see the next timeline effect. Assistant, we just completed, and the next one is effects and blur. So here, every in every options, the properties will shown here. We can change the movement here. So if I click uh, any movement here means I just give the update to view. And finally, if it is okay for me means just click OK. So uh, I just want to cancel it. We will see the next. If we if I upload the blur for this object means I can't apply another effect to the same object 
next drop shadow this is already we we see so next i just want to cancel it and the next effect is just right click it times line effect expand so this expand is only applicable for the text so the space between the two letters will be expanded okay so this is squeeze option just give update review let's see the difference it opposite of the expand our option so I, I if i want both means just go for the both option and give the update review it done both expand and this squeeze so yeah first expand and then squeeze so if it is okay for me means just give okay so this is the sample i just want to close it just give cancel this video i told every uh, timeline effect by your own you just work out it loading yeah so then next effect is explode we already seen in the object we just seen here okay so without any further delay let's move to the another effects so transform and transition The colors will be padded. This is the transform effect. Hope you will see the transform effect. And I just cancel it. And the final one is yeah, it's clear, it's close. And the final one is transition. This transition effect we already see uh, in PPTs right so we can card or wipe we can use in direction or out direction we can change the directions also if i give this means just give update to view yeah finally it's done so i just i just like this uh, transition so just click ok we just finished all the transitions. See, the layer name is automatically changed and we can't apply another effect for this object because it's already in explode transition. So, I can't give another, uh, another effect to the same object because it already up applied for the explode option. Okay. So this is the example. So here almost I use uh, all timeline effect. So this is transform effect and blur and draft shadow and expand transition. So uh, I use almost all the timeline effect. Let's see the result. Yeah, this is the result. So here I use the draft shadow. Here I use frame by frame animations. This is expand and transitions. So we in a, let's learn only timeline effects. Just apply it to your own wish. Here I just uh, prepare a greeting card by using the timeline effects. I hope. Uh, you understand the video. Thank you for watching.